I came up with this idea that we are individuals. We are unique in every way. It's not just our faces, it's our bone, tru- bone structure. It's not our character, it's also our perception of self. And how do we discover our limits, our blind spots? We ask the experts. And as far for me as the body is concerned, we are our own experts. And if we learn to listen with awareness, we become our own teacher. And this is what I consider to be the Feldenkrais way of of teaching, to ask more questions and to give less answers and to, to be the guide for people to find their own answers. So I kind of think of it as a teacher training. <laughs> so that's why for me, Feldenkrais was so important because apart from the, the physicality of it all and the, the learning, the, the different way of learning, there's also a, a shift in, in the way of, of thinking. And I have found with, with Feldenkrais and incorporating it into yoga, that I had a much easier way to get to the blind spot. Because yoga takes time and it takes effort. It takes effort to be aware at 10 in the evening for my students. They work all day and they have to come in. They want to relax and I have them paying attention to themselves. It can be tiring paying attention to yourself. So. It's a, it's a process that starts and then you have to, to continue and do it. And it's, it's in order to be feeling that you're doing yoga, you have to do it for quite some time. It doesn't shift your, your body in, from one lesson to the next. And sometimes, and I found that with myself, that there were blind spots. And when you're shedding light, yes, you can kind of, make it less dimmer and make it more clear in some areas. But when you have a blind spot, it's almost impossible to actually shed the light there. So for me, what Feldenkrais did for my, my classes and my teaching was to find a way to actually shed light on those little blind spots I couldn't access as a yoga teacher for myself, for my students.